Hello. Hi. Welcome to Cliff Alerts. Today we're going to be talking about Own Network's reality-based TV series, Put a Ring on It, Season 3, Episode Number 6. And before we get into that, we would like to ask you if you could share, subscribe, like, and comment on our channel. And we appreciate you for supporting us in that way. Comments Thank in, you. Comments and feedback, right? Absolutely. All right. Alfonso and Shay. And we will try to get that forget that hot plate situation that happened last week <laughs> but it's difficult to do i'm not gonna be able to do that but <laughs> i'll try <laughs> they meet up in dr nicole's office and dr nicole asked what happened and to make a long story short shay indicated that she felt disrespected when Alfonso came through the restaurant and didn't say a word to her, but rather was engaged with Shay. Tay Sheree. With Tay Sheree. <laughs> and um, that annoyed her. And she started that back and forth and she... That she instigated. That she with, instigated and she said she is not one to back down. Now, I don't know how relevant that statement is because she's the one who started. It seems like based on what she's saying and maybe what Alfonso has kind of confirmed as well, she's used to or accustomed to showing her hands. Absolutely. Public. So when Dr. Nicole went further into this discussion, she said a, a strange thing. She said Alfonso is her spouse and she is his spouse. Um, Since when? Uh, uh, I know she doesn't have paperwork on Alfonso. Let's just be clear. So Dr. Nicole had to set her straight, like come back to reality, sis, and and told her basically, <laughs> with all due respect, uh uh you you, no, sis. you guys no, you're not there yet. No. He's not your spouse. You may be you may think he is, but he's not. You gotta temper that expectation because the, as dr nicole said that her expectation may be premature at this point and that's what i think is really at the root of some of the issues that she's having yes. in this process her expectations of not only uh, alfonso but also of herself and also of them as a unit mm -hmm. i really don't think that they're in any way shape or form on the same expectation page as a unit for sure but but this this really highlights why she thinks she can roll the way she rolls and what she expects from Alphonse because if you if she believes she is the wife yeah and one of the things that really stuck out to me just uh, observing that exchange between Shay and Dr. Nicole is that Fonzo was sitting he was there laughing. with him? Yeah, he's kind of smirking. He's like, mm -hmm. and I, I don't know if it was a nervous grin or whatever, or because, uh, or or whatever, or whether he didn't take it seriously. But that was one of the issues that she had raised. That's prior one to. of the issues she said. She, she said, said he, he laughs he at everything. He laughs at everything. He doesn't take her seriously. seriously. Later on in the program, she said, "Oh, she's pouring into him," which was strange. What is she? She's what does she have good that she's pouring into Alfonso? I think she is just warped in her thinking, um, and she doesn't have a firm grasp on what it is that she wants and the kind of behavior it takes to get what she. Yes, wants. I agree with that. So, for sure. moving on, Doctor Nicole asks them whether they would. Uh, go back on dates and they both declined simply because they're both embarrassed by the behavior so she didn't want to check for us all and he no longer wanted to see Tayshere. Tayshere. Yeah and I think and again I'll reiterate this and I've said this before Fonzo should have said that something in the way of an apology to not only Asar who I thought was the only you know, uh, only appropriately acting person in the room at that point, at, at the point in time during that dispute, uh, during that confrontation that they had at the Japanese restaurant. But I also think that he should offer an apology, apology to Tayshere as well. That's just my opinion. And when I say that, Fonzo, Fonzo, I don't expect him to do that, or he may not have. Yeah, done they're it. not that kind of people. right. But that's that's what I, I would have thought would have been the right thing to do for Fonzo's in. Okay, well, this week was um, bringing the family in, so. She had a meeting with her mom and her aunt Nisi, mm -hmm. who is a pastor. Mm -hmm. 
and they came in greeted each other and they got right into it she started in about she's not welcome in alphonse uh, family that alfonso is not doing anything to sort of like um graciously bring her into the fold and that's upsetting to her additionally she talked about alfonso not paying attention to to her he laughs at stuff that's important to her and that she is pouring stuff into him and at this point she's exhausted and i think it was was it the uh, auntie auntie nisi uh, mm -hmm. who posed some serious questions yes. to shay to, to begin to get her to reflect kind of change her views or her outlook on how she's moving and what this could look like long term if she continues down that same road right and nisi asked her pointedly if she was willing to live like this in the next five years right she wants to continue this kind of pattern she and alphonse have going on yeah i think the wheels were starting to turn in her head uh, you know as as uh, nisi posed that question to her and i think that kind of got through it kind of sunk or resonated with her and then her mom um said that she set boundaries for shay's father and she also set boundaries for shay's stepfather mm -hmm. that Goodbye. she told them that she was gonna do this 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 and this she told them what would happen if the things that he was required to do set so, boundaries for him as well so were, and if there was any falling off of anything that he was doing she was prepared to follow through on the consequences of that failure yeah the clear boundaries were a, an illustration of something that i believe that dr nicole had said to both of them once before in maybe a private or and or group setting that they need to set clear boundaries with one another in terms of what's acceptable what's not acceptable and and adhere or adhere to those boundaries. I think they had talked once before about how you know when Alfonso's out in public and and because of what he what he does his job and all uh, he comes into contact with a lot of women and how he needs to kind of let those women know that hey look when he's out out, out and about he needs to keep them at arm's length because I have somebody that I'm dealing with in the form of Shay right now. Yeah, one of the subscribers said that Alphonse is in that hip hop world, and mm -hmm. in that world, the some of the men tend to, you know, just throw money at women. Mm -hmm. So they got a lot going on, and they don't respect women to the point where they're elevated. But they know that they they can have a a, a pick of the litter, mm -hmm. so to speak. Mm -hmm. So, and that was an interesting point of view right. because we see how that plays out with. Um, um, entertainers Ellie uh, Shay's point of view is is not on point she doesn't seem to have all the information she needs to make a, a strong and definitive decision and uh, she said something uh, equally strange she said she needed validation will help her to make the right decision and um, I just don't quite understand where she is earlier in the program and she said that she was the spouse then she said she was pouring into him um yeah, you know and she was now at this point depleted and now she's saying that based on the conversation with her her mom and her aunt okay, yeah. she can now make a decision because she got she has now the go ahead to leave yeah it and seemed, she didn't know she had that option yeah it seems like she kind of reverted uh, back to some point of childhood i guess uh, to to necessarily need and or get the validation from right. he, uh, from from the elders and of her family about what to do regarding right. this situation because i uh, trust and believe this is not the first time her aunt or her mom have been talking to her like that about you know this situation if she's been acting out you know uh, yeah I and for been, three years right. she has not been welcome into the family the right. other side right Fonzo's that, family right yeah. that means her family probably have not really met Fonzo's people just yet something's not right something's not right something's not right and that funk is filling up the house yeah 
Yeah. And she could she has to figure out where, whether she's just gonna sit in the house and get accustomed to that stench, to that, that stench, that stench yeah. or she gonna open the door and let the stench go out the window and uh, or go out the or door. Go out rather. the door right. rather with right. with her stuff. Right. right. And or leave her stuff behind and just 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 run. June theme is coming. Oh, right? see, see, you need to stop. <laughs> you need to stop. Okay. Anywho. Anywho. Really the same is true for Fonzo because he doesn't seem to understand that Shay is, while she's maybe hurt and she's frustrated and doesn't know how to convey exactly what it is that's causing her to behave the way she's do, the way she is and all that, that he really risked losing this. Now, if he's just doing it for television and exposure, that's something different. I don't think uh, Alphonse is committed to Shay. Shay said something very important. She said she has been pouring into Alphonse yeah, emotionally uh -huh. right. and now she she's exhausted. De depleted. She's depleted, right. Um, what does a depleted person do? Normally they stop doing what it is that's caused that caused them to be depleted in the first place. Yeah? Right. They lose themselves, you point into someone else and not yourself. Mm -hmm. You're already on the, the wrong end of the stick. Right. This woman is at a very vulnerable place in her life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I just hope she gets the tools to free herself from yeah. that. Yeah, and I don't think she needs to go out on any any other dates as part of this process. No. She needs she, she needs the kind of help that I feel like she needs is 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 uh, is probably best served. In the, in the form of a professional like Dr. Nicole absolutely you know, and some time alone yeah and if she doesn't have the the where it all to pull stuff together financially she just needs to gradually step away from from Alphonse because you could get caught up in the lifestyle you can get caught up in the money and all that all the things that comes with being in that kind of entertainment world mm -hmm. but at some point she got to figure out that she's more important saving herself is more important than just the smoke and mirrors of fame and notoriety and everything else that comes with it Alrighty then. that's all we have thank you again for liking sharing subscribing and sending us your comments we appreciate you god bless Bye. Bye-bye.